Hi Scorpio, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting you some messages. Let's see what your angels and guides want to tell you today. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. You ready? Here we go. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is pull you some angel numbers. So let's see what comes out. Okay, we have one, seven, zero, four. One, seven, zero, four is your angel number. I'm going to write that down. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get your cards. We have. The Death card, the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords. Wow, there's a power couple here. And look, Scorpio, you showed up in your own reading. Death card is uh, Scorpio energy. Interesting, Scorpio. Um. But that card could just represent you, right? But I do feel like something has ended. I do feel like there's a... It kind of feels like a way of life. Like there's been a cycle change for you. There's something that's that's ended and, uh, you know, no longer relevant to you. You've moved on. You've grew. You've learned a lesson. I don't know. There's something, something about that. Now you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Now I am feeling more like your Scorpio, your energy is the King of Cups. I'm, I am feeling that. Um, you in love. So either you're in love with your Queen of Cups and you guys are a power couple together or you're calling your Queen of Cups in if she's not here yet or he, doesn't matter. Um, you know. There's no gender in tarot. I just, uh, you know, the king and queen. So, have it. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like uh, you might be calling your queen in. But definitely power couple material here. Two people who are so in love with each other. Two people who can... Um, Rule their world together, united. Yeah, I, I just, I feel, I have a, a, a pretty good feeling with this. Um, I'm trying to describe it. Like, it's, it's just so in love. It's just so, you guys love each other. You respect each other. It's a really good reunion. It is. Now, Seven of Swords says that there's going to be some opportunities coming in for you. Kind of feels like business. Um, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, it could be opportunities for you guys to do things together, travel or whatnot. But it, I don't know, kind of feels business-like. Ace of Swords is a new beginning. So something new coming in. So like I said, you're going to have options, but there's definitely something new coming in. And with that death card, that makes complete sense as well. So let's get some more cards here. Oh. I'm sorry, drop the, drop the card. All right, so there are five of pentacles. There's do, it does feel like there's been some kind of a financial loss here. Nine of Swords, some anxiety over it. Three of Cups and three of, well, not three of anything. That's the Empress. Three, three. If you're seeing three, three, that might be significant. That could be an angel sign for you. So keep an eye out for three, threes. If you see three, threes, that means that your angels are telling you you're on the right path or they're giving you, um, you know, affirmation. It does kind of feel like there's been a financial loss here. And you're worried about money. 
It could be that you're worried about being um, alone in this world as well. Maybe you don't have your Queen of Cups yet and you're feeling alone and you're worried about that she might not come in. Um, I wouldn't worry about it because there is going to be a reason to celebrate. You have the Three of Cups here. So, yes, celebrate something. There's definitely something to celebrate. Three, um, I keep looking at the threes. So threes really must be significant for you at this time. Hopefully it doesn't mean third party. But anyway, the Empress is here. And the Empress is so nurturing, so loving, so fertile. She gives birth to many, many things. She gives birth to abundance. So for some of you, you could be having a child, but um, I feel like most of you with these opportunities coming in, this is about business. Your um, business is either gonna grow or the seeds that you've planted are gonna take form and take shape. Um, you're growing something here. You know, you're growing, it could be just you're growing a life together. You could be, I don't know, but there is a new opportunity here and some kind of a new beginning, lots of choices, and uh, you shouldn't be so worried about it. It's going to work out for you. Honor and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. So I do feel like this is about your, your this power couple up here. I do feel that you need to trust your feelings towards your person. Um, it's kind of giving me the feeling that your person might You might be doubting your feelings towards your person. Like, not doubting your feelings, but doubting it would ever work out. Doubting that you could fix something. I don't know why that just came to me, but doubting that you guys could be together in some way. Um, I'm feeling like there needs to be like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation for some reason. And you need to, why do I feel like you're denying your feelings somehow? Like, you know, you love your queen, but you're, you don't want to believe it. Or you're, you're like, no, that can't be. Or no, that's not going to happen. Or no, I have resentment towards her. I don't know why that's coming through. Because look, at it, it's just such a power couple to me. It feels so strong. That, um, it feels very strong. It feels like you guys can conquer the world together. You just got to get over your emotions here, dude. <laughs> and again, I don't know why that just came out of my mouth. I don't assign gender to tarot, so I don't know why that just came out of my mouth. Crazy. All right, somebody needed to hear that. But anyway, um... You need to trust that you do love your divine counterpart here. There is love here. And uh, you need to ask the angels, especially Michael, to allow you to express your love to your person. I don't know why I feel it's so important. Crazy things come out of my mouth when I channel. Why is my camera all crooked or is it me and my cards? <laughs> it's totally me, right? I don't know here. Uh, I guess that's the best I'm going to do right now. All right, let's get some more cards here. Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. 
Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Again, I'm feeling like there's a conversation you need to have with your divine counterpart up there. You're being guided to reach out. And you're hesitating. You're procrastinating. You got to stop doing that. <laughs> you're be, if you're being divinely guided to take action, you need to take action. <laughs> this is crazy, crazy, crazy reading. Um, love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to accept self-acceptance. So, okay, so maybe that's part of the problem. The part of the problem is you're, you got fear here. There's fear. You're worried because you don't feel like you're either good enough or... Why do I feel like you feel like you're not good enough for your, your partner up there? Hmm. Love yourself. You can't love anybody else until you love yourself. I mean, not truly, not fully, not completely. Not the way that, you know, fairy tales are made of, you know? And that's what this couple feels like. This couple feels like this is a fairy tale kind of love. So you want to get there with your person, whether, you ha whether they're in your life now or not. It doesn't matter. You want to get to that fairy tale place. Right? Everybody wants that, whether they admit it or not. They want that, that unconditional love. And it's hard to achieve that. But I feel like you have a real possibility of getting there. You just have to love and accept yourself first. Take the steps. And take the steps. That's important. Take the steps. Clock time, time pressure in a rush. Oh, you feel like time's running out, or you, or you feel like too much time has passed. Okay, again, time and control are two of the things that are human, <laughs> that are just illusions. There's only time here on Earth. There's not time anywhere else in the universe, right? So you're not running out of time. Not too much time has not passed. It's never too late. Never too late. Take the steps, Scorpio. Keep hearing that. Take the steps. It'll be a step up in spirituality as well. It will. It'll lead you to that. What do you need to release? You need to release the fear. Any bitterness, any anger, any jealousy. But most importantly, we need to release your fear. That's what I'm feeling. Let all that negative stuff go. You have the potential here for greatness. I don't know why you're not going to go for it. What are you afraid of? Being laughed at? Being rejected? That happens to all of us, so... children for those of you who have children why am I feeling like there's issues there oh I'm feeling like there's major issues between Scorpio and the child not the child I, I, I feel children I do feel children I feel like there's more than one I'm feeling like Scorpio has major issues with their children And it doesn't have to be biological. It could be your person's children as well. All right. So I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, I'm just trying to concentrate with this. I, what I'm getting is that you need to um, fix your relationship with whatever children this could be 
And if you don't have children, and if somebody's giving birth, you need to get right with the idea that your child is being born. Right? There's, there's something that you need to make right with your child or children. You need to fix something. It's so important. Because when we harm our children, and I'm not saying in a physical sense. I mean, it, it, it could be physical sense, but in a mental, mental sense, emotional sense. When we harm our children, like as adults, we're already through half our lives, right? The children have so much longer to live. So they're living with whatever issues you inflicted upon them for a lot longer. It takes them a lot longer to heal from that. So I'm going to say the sooner the better. Fix fix whatever issues you have with your child. And even if it's your child's not born yet, get right with the fact that your child's coming in and you need to be a good parent. And if you know that you can't be, then you need to give that child up completely before you affect them in a mental and emotional way. Even or physical, I mean. You know? All right, I'm not gonna lecture you anymore, Scorpio. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Who am I, right? Who am I? I'm just that was just my advice. You take it for what it's worth and what you can do with it is up to you. We all have free will. Okay. The last card I'm gonna pull for you is an Akashic Records card. And you got reflection. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. You, reflections about reflecting on the past or on, on mistakes that have been made or things that you need to do in the future. Um, this card could show up sometimes that it could tell you that you're taking a trip. Um, but it also says that you need to get in touch with your emotions. You know, be more reflective upon them. You know, be more in control of them. So if you have those lower vibrating emotions towards your Queen of Cups or your children, you need to um, gain control over that, gain clarity over those emotions because they're just fear-based. They're based on fear. And I feel like you have the ability right now to be more in touch with your emotions. Okay, Scorpio. Look, I know I lectured you a little bit on your children because that's a sensitive subject for me personally. So I might have um, projected a little bit. And for that, I do apologize. But you have the potential here for an amazing love. Whether you're with your person or not, you the potential here is so amazing. So you need to... Love and accept yourself. You need to make things right with your children. And, uh, or children are coming. And if it's just children are coming, that's fantastic. Um, but you need to, you know, make sure you're right with that. But this love is just so beautiful. All right, there are things that you're not seeing clearly. So, um,. Like I said, get in touch with your emotions, okay? Release what needs to be released. Because your angels and guides are loving you and supporting you right now. Right? They want you to step into that power. That King of Cups power. They want you to step into that. There's so much love here. There's a lot of love here. Look. Could be having a baby. Some of you are having a baby. There could be travel. <laughs> right? There could be travel. Um, yeah, here's another travel charm. It's a flip-flop. You could be going someplace warm. New life could be a baby. <laughs> Either that or with the death card, something is ended and there's a new chapter. So there's new life. There's a renewal, the rebirth here. Look, your angels and gods are cheering you on. They really are. They're, they're, they're supporting you and they want you to find the peace that you deserve. Right? The last card is a chip clip don't hold on it to anything too tightly you know that's my 
release the negative, release what no longer serves us, release those pent up emotions. I feel like those lower vibrating emotions. I feel like you guys have so many, so much of that. Go release it because you're going to have an amazing life, Scorpio, an amazing life. It's all right here. It's all waiting for you. All right. That's all I have for you. Give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that'll help me and make me very grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light.